So there I am looking to see which films to throw my eye over and my eye catches the poster for Missing Link. Weird, thought I. I didn't know that DreamWorks had a new film out this week. Oh well, yet another pile of three-star mediocrity that'll make back more money than it should through toy sales and kids buying tickets for this and then sneaking into Pet Cemetery. Uh, assuming kids still do that. Or is yet another childhood thrill been lost to the internet? Anyway, I looked, saw the star-studded cast, Wolverine, Zoe Saldana, Stephen Fry, Timothy Oliphant, and Zach Galifianakis amongst others, which seemed to confirm my suspicions. But I checked out the trailer anyway and was surprised to see that this isn't from DreamWorks, but from a studio called Laker. Named after a stray mongrel from the streets of Moscow who became one of the first animals in space and the first animal to orbit the Earth. Sadly, like a dive within hours from overheating, possibly caused by a failure of the central R7 sustainer to separate from the payload. The true cause and time for her death were not made public until 2002. Instead, it was widely reported that she died when her oxygen ran out on day six. Okay, thought I. This is clearly some low-budget Russian film which has somehow gotten a UK release. CGI looks weird though, so I looked a little deeper and discovered that the reason the CGI looked weird is that it wasn't CGI. It was stop motion. Actual, wonderful, almost extinct stop motion. And the studio isn't Russian. It's from the colonies and made Kubo and the Two Strings, one of my favourite films of all time, and a masterpiece which failed to make a profit and was cruelly robbed of an Oscar by Zootopia. Actually, I should probably watch it again for research purposes. Back in a second. The Wexford, station Roger Moore's eyebrow that film's amazing. And Missing Link doesn't really let the side down. It feels like a smaller story, but that's not really a bad thing. Think less fighting giant skeletons and more fighting on a boat in the middle of a storm which makes the entire set spin around like that scene from Inception. What was that? I'll point out that a stop motion film on a great day creates about three seconds of footage as it consists of getting your models together, photographing them, moving them slightly, and then photographing them again. It's agonizing, slow, painful work that looks about a million times better than even the best CGI. Ages a lot better as well. Anyway, Missing Link is a very simple story of someone wanting to find their family. That they are the last Bigfoot and they believe that their cousins are the Yeti simply means that we have an excuse to go around the world in probably 80 days. Backed up by Wolverine's incredibly English Sir Lionel Frost who's trying to prove himself as an adventurer and Zoe Saldana's Adeline of Fortnite who appears to be on loan from Team America World Police and looks slightly creepy as a result. The Link itself, voiced by Galifianakis, needs half its lines removed. This film has that weird American thing where they think that comedy is simply speaking every thought that comes into their head or observing every little thing that's happening around them. I don't get it, I don't like it, and I've yet to meet anyone who does. That aside, this film looks gorgeous. I mean, these guys are truly pushing the boundaries of what can be done with the medium. A medium I adore and sadly is so rare in this modern CGI-infested age. But then something like this comes out and just blows everything else away because the models are physically there. They avoid the uncanny valley completely. The lighting looks incredible because it's actually reflecting off of things. Also, it allows for different textures, which is something that CGI really struggles with. Each of the locations is distinct. Each of the characters, even those that only get a few lines, are fun and memorable. I mean, you'll have worked out the plot within the first 10 minutes, but a 95-minute children's film isn't really going to be making you question the meaning of life, is it? Missing Link is a visually incredible, funny, fast-moving, well-written story with very little fat on the bones. Its moral is timely, its action incredible, it's a smaller, more intimate story than the studio's last film, which I do understand, and I'll be very, very sad when this sinks without trace in a fortnight to be rediscovered on Netflix in about six months or so. But... For what it's worth, I absolutely think that you should drop everything and see it now. But what do you guys think? And which film genre on the verge of extinction would you most like to see make a comeback? Comment below, let me know. I'm Daniel, it's been a dunking. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe.